So we've been covering congruent triangles. We know congruent triangles have all sides congruent and all angles congruent, but that can be a daunting task. You've got three different angles, three different sides. Are there any other easier ways to use to show that triangles are congruent? Well, there are indeed. Now accompany on my journey as we discover the congruent triangles theorems. First stop, we've got the side 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 congruence theorem. Notice these triangles down here have this side, this side, and this side congruent to this side, this side, and this side. Whenever you have this case where all three sides are congruent with all three other sides, then you know that these triangles are indeed congruent. Do do. Next up, we've got our side angle side congruence theorem. Notice here we've got side right next to an angle right next to another side that's congruent with this side, this angle, and this side. When this is the case, when you have side angle side congruence, then again, we know these two triangles are congruent. Let's continue on. Here we've got our angle side angle congruence theorem. This, you may guess, is when we have an angle, a side, and an angle congruent to an angle, side, and an angle. Whenever this happens, you got it. These two triangles are congruent. Moving forward, we come upon the angle, angle side congruence theorem. In this case, we have one angle, another angle, and a side congruent to another angle, another angle, and a side. When these co congruences correspond, then again, these triangles are congruent. So, we've covered all four of the congruence triangles theorem, but how can we use these to determine whether or not triangles are congruent? So, I've got these four congruence theorems up here to help us remember. We want to determine whether the triangles are congruent. If they are, how do we know? Let's take a look at this first problem. Here we've got two separate triangles, TAD and TED. I see we've got side, side congruent with this side, this side. Now, I do notice that this third side is shared, so it obviously has to be congruent with itself. That would give me this side, this side, this side, congruent with this side, this side, this side. So these two triangles are indeed congruent by side, side, side. Next up, let's move over to these two triangles here. First off, I see this side AC congruent with this side EC, this side DC congruent with this side BC. Now that's two pieces of the puzzle. Is there anything else you notice about these two triangles? Well, I see vertical angles here. I know that vertical angles are congruent. I'm going to draw that in. That gives me this side, this angle, and this side congruent with this side, this angle, and this side. That gives me triangle congruence by side, angle, side. Let's move down here. Here again, it looks like we've got vertical angles. I'll go ahead and mark those congruent. And we've got this side, this side, this angle, congruent with this side, this side, this angle. That would give us side, side, angle. But let's look back up here at our four theorems. We doesn't seem like we've got side, side, angle as an option. And actually, just because you have side, side, angle does not mean it's congruent. So based on this information, we cannot say whether or not these triangles are congruent. Now just a quick tip, something to watch out for. Some people sometimes accidentally misattribute uh, the sides, angles, and sides. They put them in the wrong order. For example, if we take this side and put it next to this angle, then go to this side, you might think that this is a side, angle, side, triangle. But you're never allowed to skip over an angle and a side and put the things in, in any order you want. You always have to do one right next to the other one you see. So since this side is right next to this side, that's why we had to do side, side, angle. Well, I am sorry to say it looks like our journey has come 
to an end. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. Remember, aim for the moon, because even if you miss, you'll land in the stars.